Hey there, it's Lee here. Welcome back to our Mine Blocks. In this one, I'm going to be taking a look at the updated Claymore Zcash Miner version 7. So I'm on Worker 3 now. Um, I'll show you the actual demonstration on this just to show you the uh, performance of this new miner. So at the moment, I'm using the Claymore Zcash version 6. And um, although the update's just kind of disappeared now, uh, where is it? It was getting around 212, 213 hashes per second um, on that version 6 of the miner. So what I'll do now is I'll just close these other windows. So close this one. And let's close the existing miner. Okay, I'm going to leave this other one running. That's for my burst coin. I'm just going to minimize that. Let's open up the browser. We'll go to the, uh, the Bitcoin talk thread and get this downloaded. Then I'll just go through the actual setup configuration and we'll get it up and running and see how it performs. So we're going to go to the Bitcoin Talk thread uh, for the actual miner itself, and we'll just download. We're going to download using the Mega Link. Quite often the uh, Google links don't work; they kind of use too much bandwidth, and then Google just cuts them off for a while. Um, I'll also put a link in the actual video description as well. So we want to download uh, version seven and a standard download. Cool, so that's downloaded. It's just in our downloads folder. We'll open up that. So then we just need to extract it. And then I'm just going to copy it and just paste it on the actual desktop just with all the other mess just so it's kind of easy access. Still need to get around to tidying this whole mess up. Um, and what I'll do is I will download, uh, sorry, I'll just copy our start.batch file into the new folder, just to make it a little bit easier to work with. I'm just gonna overwrite the one that's already in there with my one. And everything else should be the same. So I'll just show you the actual um, batch file itself. My one's a little bit different to most. Um, so we've got the first part is the actual miner, uh, then the pool that I'm using, which is Supernova. And then we've got my worker details. So we've got my username and then my worker name, worker free, and then my worker password is X. And then we've got this extra little bit, which is really from my use case only. So it's uh, dash DI zero and one, which just tells the miner to use uh, GPU devices zero and one. Um, I've got that set so it doesn't use the integrated GPU um, within the actual CPU itself. So that's my settings there. Just save that and then that should be good for using this miner. So previously we was getting um, 212 hashes per second. Uh, so let's have this, see how this miner performs in comparison. Um, so just to refresh your memory, um, the hardware in this machine, it's got a 280X and a 7950 in there as well. So they both perform quite similar. The 280X is a little bit faster. It's just a really rebranded uh, 7970. Just to prove the firewall access. Just going to move this window down a little. Okay, we'll just let it run here for a minute or two and then we'll see how it performs. Okay, so we've just got our first stats and that is 278.7 hashes per second. So that is 68 hashes over the uh, previous, sorry, 66 really. So that's a, a significant performance increase. 
Okay, so we've just had another update there, and that is 276 hashes per second. So really good performance, uh, vastly improved over the previous version 6 version. So that is great to see. Obviously, everyone's going to be getting high performance, um, and presumably it's actually at the same uh, power usage. Um, I don't actually have a watt meter to check at the moment, but I'm going to assume it's the same, and it's just a coding efficiency. So while this has been running, uh, what I also did was just take the time to get the miner installed on uh, the El Cheapo rig and also uh, Risky Fire or Worker 1. Um, so we'll take a look at those other machines now and we'll see what the performance is like on those two. So let's take a look at El Cheapo first. So this is the machine that has four R7 370s in there. I'm not too sure whether we've actually had a hashing update just yet. Oh, there's one just there. So that is 356. Um, previously, I think the hash rate was around about uh, 70 hashes uh, per second for each one of the GPUs. So we're getting some improvement there. That's looking good, up to about yeah, about 90 hashes uh, per second for each one of those cards. So that's really good for a low-end card. Uh, now let's take a look at Risky Fire One or Worker One. So this machine has two RX 470s in there. And we'll just see if we've got an update at all. Oh. Actual window is fighting against me. So we've got, I think this is probably the first one. It takes a little while to get the actual updates. Uh, 293 hashes per second. So we're coming in at uh, the other card, GP1 there is 153. Oh. So it's gone again. Um, and 140 on GPU one there. Uh, that tends to be a little bit slower anyway. So someone else reported that they could get about 160. So maybe after a few more updates, I'll give it just a little bit more time. We'll see whether we get another um, slightly better hash rate. Oh, okay. So here we go. Literally just as I was saying that um, we're over 306 hashes per second across the two GPUs, 151 and 154. So the, just to show you the clock speeds that I'm using, we've got the uh, boost clock of 1216 for the core and 1750 for the memory. Um, it is modified bias, but I'm just using the slower memory. Uh, you'll also notice that is the power limit is at 24% on this one GPU. I don't use it on the other one, just this first GPU has got a really bad uh, asset quality. So it needs a little bit of a boost to get the best performance out of it. So you can see the second one, just using the kind of standard settings. So that is really good performance. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it here for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching and it's been informative, useful for you. If you like this video, please give it a like. Um, and as always, uh, feel free to add your comments in the comments area. I'll be sure to get back to all of you, uh, no matter what questions or comments you may have. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.